Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to explain how you can compare two strings in C language. Before starting, uh, I want to give you one information. If you go to a uh, description of this video, you will find links of various playlists related to C language. So you can watch them too. So now I'm going to start uh, explaining how you can compare two strings in C language. So first of all, I'm going to read two strings from the user. So let's say string one is S1, whose size is 10. String two is S2, whose size is also 10. Then I'm going to declare one variable I and another variable f that will be for flag which is initially zero now to read input from user i am writing a printf which will display enter first string input will be stored inside s1 then again printf enter second string then get is s2 so this way uh, first string will be stored inside s1 and second string will be stored inside s2 right so now i am going to implement a loop and through that loop we will see how we can compare two strings whether they are equal or not so remember that i am going to compare uh, both the strings as per their content not as per their length so for example This is S1 or this is S2, right? We have two strings. So here you can see both are equal because their contains are same. If S1 is X, Y, Z and S2 is A, B, C. So these two strings are unequal because their contains are unequal, right? If length is same, like S1 is having three characters, S2 is also having three characters, then based on their length, we are not going to compare. We are going to compare as per their content, right? So I will use these two examples while I will be implementing the loop. So after implementation of loop, we will come again on these examples and we will see how that loop is working to check the string comparison. So I am starting for loop from zero. Now here condition is S1 of i not equals to null or S2 of i not equals to null. So here see the condition. S1 is checked, then S2 is checked. If S1 is not equals to null, if it is true, then second condition will not be evaluated because I have mentioned or in between them. And if this condition is false, then this will be evaluated. If it is true, then also loop will iterate, right? So if any one of these two conditions are true, then loop will be evaluated. Otherwise, it will be false. So if both the conditions are false, then loop will be uh, discontinued. And after here, so I am removing this. So here I need to write I plus plus and then inside loop I am going to write the logic. So I am writing if condition, if S1 of I not equals to S2 of I, if S1 of I not equals to S2 of I, then I am assigning one into F and I am using break so that I can terminate the rotation of loop and I am closing the loop, right? So this is the simple loop that I implemented for string comparison. After completion of this loop, I just need to check if f is still zero, then I can print equal. If f is equals to zero, then I can print equal else I can print not equal, right? So now 
I am taking this example first so that we can check whether this implemented loop is working fine or not. So initially you can see f is zero. Initially value of f is zero. Now we need to check this loop, right? So i started from zero, then s1 of i not equals to null. So let's say i is zero. Now check s1 of i not equals to null. So you can imagine that this is zero index, this is one, this is two, and then on third index, both are having null, right? So s1 of i not equals to null. So s1 of i is not equals to null, it is true. So if first condition is true, second will not be evaluated. It means loop condition is true. Now we need to check s1 of i with s2 of i. If it is not equal, then f will be one and loop will be terminated. But in this case, both are equal. So this condition will be false and i will be incremented. So now i is one. So here you need to check s1 of one. So s1 of one is b, which is also not equal to null. So again, this first condition is true. So second will not be checked. Now check this condition, s1 of i not equals to s2 of i. So again, it is false because both are equal. So i will be incremented. So i is two. Again, check this condition, s1 of two is having c, which is not equals to null. So again, this condition is true. Check this condition s1 of i not equals to s2 of i. So again, this is false because both are equal. So i will be incremented. This time i is 3. So check this condition s1 of i. So s1 of 3 is having null. So this is false. Check this condition s2 of i is not equal to null. It is also false. So both conditions of loop are false this time. So loop will be terminated and you saw we never uh, gone inside this if condition because every time it was false. So f remained zero and we can uh, say that uh, both the strings are equal. So this is the first scenario. Now let me take another one, which is this. String one is x, y, z and string two is a, b, c. So again, I'm starting i from zero so S1 of i, S1 of zero not equals to null. So this condition is true. So second will not be evaluated. Now come here, S1 of i not equals to S2 of i. So S1 of i is X, S2 of i is A. So X not equals to A. So first time condition is true. So it means F will be assigned as one and break will terminate the loop. And after termination of loop, we need to check if condition so this time f is one, so it will print strings are not equal, right? So this way, this is working. Now let's say if you have this kind of scenario, in first string we have a, b and null, and in second string we have a, b, c and null, right? So what will happen? So in two rotations, while i will be zero, so both are equal, while i will be one, then b and b both are equal. While i is 2, we are on this position. So for string 1, it is null. So this condition will be false. So this condition will be checked. So it is true because s2 is not equal to null. So it will come to this if condition. And here inside this if condition, s1 of 2 position is having null. And s2 of 2 position is having c. So here you can see this condition is now true. So f will be assigned 1 and loop will be and after termination of loop, f is 1, so not equal will be displayed. So this way, if all the characters of both the strings are equal, then only this if condition will be false. And whenever uh, both the indexes are unequal, then automatically it will become true and f will be assigned as 1. So this way, I explained you how you can compare two strings. So I explained this example with the help of three different uh, uh, strings. So S1, S2, I uh, use three pairs of S1 and S2 to explain this loop, how it is working. So don't confuse yourself like why I use or here, because I explained you with the examples like how it is working. So if first condition is true, we don't have to check another one because here we have a comparison condition, right? So don't put end here, just use or. 
so that uh, we can check each and every index of both the strip, right? So if any point, if indexes are unequal, F will be having one and loop will be terminated through break. And then we need to check if condition like F is zero or one and accordingly output will be displayed. So this way, I hope you understood how we can compare two strings in C language with the help of this example. And uh, if you want to watch more programming related videos, you can open my channel, go to playlist, there you will see various uh, playlists related to C language. Also, you can find those links handy in the description of this video. So do follow those videos so that you can learn programming in an easy way. And I hope you understood whatever I explained in this video. Thank you for watching this video.